Welcome back guys. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So in this video, I'm going to be answering the questions you guys asked me in the comment section down below and up in my Instagram. Up above. So let's get into the video. First question comes from Mason Smith. Are you going to be doing daily uploads? You know, as much as I would want to do daily uploads, it's just not possible at the moment. Uh, just because of school and, you know, we're always busy and it's just hard to. I, I just want to bring one video a week. Uh, I would love to bring two, maybe three sometimes. But we'll just see guaranteed pretty much one video a week. But I would love to give you two. My, my next question is how long have you raced for? So I've been racing for a total of eight years. Uh, five years? Seven years. At six. S seven. Seven years at the Red Bluff Outlaws. I think this is my seventh, yeah. I'm 13 years old. I started when I was five. But definitely been racing for a while. It goes by just like that, guys. Just like life. Uh, but yeah, I've cherished every moment I've had in racing. It's been a blast. And I can't wait for the years to come as I keep continuing to grow in racing. And maybe soon, maybe be in the 500s at Red Bluff in the next couple of years. So that'll be very exciting. And those vlogs are going to be pretty fun. When you get the one to go signal, what thoughts go through your mind? This one is a, is a tough one because I usually get like a little nervous, but uh, I usually pull up my gloves. It's kind of a weird habit that I've done for a while now. And I'm usually pretty calm and I just know, you know, I got to get a good restart and run away from the pack of wolves behind me. But I'm usually nervous. I'm more nervous before the race. If anything, I'm not really nervous during the race that much. You know, I just think of what I have to do that restart or what I have to do to stay in the lead. But yeah, nothing too weird goes through my head besides I always pull up my gloves. That's just a weird habit that I always do. What was your worst crash in a race? I've had two pretty bad crashes at Red Bluff. Uh, one was the West Coast Nationals. My first year ever being there, I hadn't raced any races. It was like my second race. And I was uh, getting lapped for my third time in beginner box in the guy came around the top and it just hit me and I flipped pretty bad I mean for being so young I mean nowadays I look back and I go you know it probably wasn't that bad of a wreck but also I wrecked a couple years ago at the West Coast Nationals and my first year in 250 and I was leading and I mean, just I got hit and I just got hit by the whole field pretty much it was a pretty bad wreck and that one hurt that one hurt the most I've also got, I've also got, like, someone's throttle stuck and hung me, and I hit the wall backwards at 50 miles an hour, and there's, like, concrete in my frame rail, so that, that one hurt. I had to get checked out on that one, so I've got some pretty bad wrecks. You know, racing's definitely not as safe as you think. We wear all this safe equipment, but, you know, there's no guarantees, but, you know, honestly, it's actually way safer than I'm making it sound. I mean, things happen, but I've never really gotten that injured. I mean, people have got hurt, but... It's pretty rare. And a very late restart. Out contact with the leader. The leader upside down a big way. Getting off the racing topic, what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender and how did you get started in racing? I actually think I would be named Carly because since I was born before my little sister Carly, I think I would be named Carly and she would be Trinity because that's what they wanted to name her, but that's, yeah. I think that's what I would have been named, Carly. But, you know, Carly, I like that name. I think I would have been named Carly. H uh, how did you get started in racing? Pretty much, my dad, we were driving by one day and he saw a card on the side of the road for sale, so we bought it. And then we just got started. We started racing our local track. You know, didn't get any wins till my last season, my first race once. So that was huge for me. Like, I really needed that. And then we pretty much just started exploring. Someone told my dad about the Red Bluff Outlaws. And we started going down there every year. And now, ever since. And now it just keeps on growing and growing. And hopefully, my ultimate goal would be to be in NASCAR one day. Or a top racing, top series in racing. But I'm only 13 right now. So hopefully I can just keep climbing the ranks. And that's my ultimate goal. What is your favorite race track? You know, I think the Red Bluff Outlaws is probably my favorite one just because, you know, I've been racing there for a while and it's just a really racy track. Cycling's pretty fun. Sometimes it can go to one lane, though, so it makes it tough. I mean, usually isn't, but sometimes the bottom's just faster than the top. 
But Red Bluff, it's usually always racy, so that's why I like that. I mean, no tracks really in Oregon are my favorite. I mean, I like all the tracks that I've been to, really. Millbridge is another fun track, but I think Red Bluff just holds a special place in my heart for all the time I've raced in there and just a lot of really good racing memories I've, I've had there. So that's probably my favorite track for sure. So how much does it start, start to, no, how, how much does it cost to get started in racing? No, but it's definitely a very expensive sport and it's not cheap. Honestly, carts cost thousands of dollars in motors and stuff. It's just, it's, it's just not a very, you know, they're trying to get it less inexpensive, but I don't know what it's going to end up one day. And once you get out of carts, it gets even more and more expensive. So I don't know. It's all about kind of getting a ride pretty much kind of supporting yourself after outlaw carts is probably the hardest thing to do. And not a lot of people do do it, but there are some people out there that do. So let's just say it costs a lot of this. So this is the end of the video, guys. If you like this video, go hit that like button and subscribe down below. Also, uh, I will be doing a vlog on points race number three this weekend. Don't forget, guys, to go check out Fast Four Media. They uh, live stream most of our races. If you guys go follow them on social media, uh, just Fast Four Media, I'll put a link in the description below for their Instagram. But if you guys just go and follow them, they'll pretty much give you updates of when they're streaming. I don't know if they're doing this weekend because I think they might be somewhere else. But guys, it's well worth $10 to see some of the greatest racing in the USA. So guys, go hit them up. Uh, hit up my social medias down below if you guys have any more questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them. You can just comment down below on this video, guys. See you guys in the next vlog. When people ask if I have any hidden talents. See you guys later.